Hey guys, so <clears throat> I just woke up and so um I don't know why I'm trying to fix this, but it doesn't matter. But um so but um I'm trying not to say that. So this is going to be a hair video and as you see I'm in the bathroom again. So other than one other video I'm gonna do, when you see this, this means this is a bathroom or this is a hair video. Other than the fact that you'll see the title that says hair or something, but anyway. So, I'm just waking up. So, this is my just woke up face. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but I wanted to give you a hair update and then tell you about, like, my first impressions of a couple of products that I've used. In case you all haven't tried them. I liked uh, a couple of them and then one I hated. So, but anyway, I, I had triple protection on my hair uh, last night. So, that with this bonnet this bonnet and then I slept on a satin bonnet a satin pillowcase so anyway I twisted my hair up last night so that's why I look a little nutty but um there's a length check and then I wanted to use my camcorder so you all can see this better <clears throat> but um it needed to be charged now I wish I would have had my hair stretched out when I cut it the first time, but you all can still tell because my hair was nowhere near this length. So it's grown a lot. It's grown a lot in what I got it cut on the 27th, or I cut it on the 27th of April. So in a month and a half, almost. But so I'm going to do a little twist out. And so <clears throat> I've come to the realization that my hair is to the length where I can no longer just go to sleep on it and wake up and <laughs> be able to do something with it. So it's gotten a little bit longer. If I just go to sleep with my hair in a fro, when I wake up, it's like sh shrunk to my head or, mat you know, not really matted because it's not where I can't comb, but you know, like my head. So I put these twists in just to add some definition and to stretch it out a little bit. So anyway, um, let's see the results. And so this time I tried to make I started out trying to make them like uniform sized because oh crap just got this oil all over my pants sorry I want to get a little bit of oil on my hands so my hair won't get frizzy with me taking these twists out but before because if you all could see before I put you know I don't want to touch my hands my hair well you I don't think it's showing but showing on here but it's like so shiny and I'm gonna show you what product I used but the first time I did my little twist out I, um, I just was being lazy and just trying to hurry up and put them in there and so I just did them any you know just randomly any size so this time I tried to make them more uniform I didn't work out because some ended up being smaller like I was I was like okay I'll just these are a twist I just took out you know kind of make it that size or something some ended up being bigger some ended up being smaller and then when I got like three-fourths through I got tired of doing it and wanted to be done with it and it was like one o'clock in the morning so I just started making the twist any kind of way and then, I'm about to stop talking in a minute because I'm going to speed this up because you all don't need to see me on twist and twist. But this part of my hair right here still doesn't want to act like it's natural. You see how this is not, like normally when you you know, you know do a twist, you this will coil up the end. This part won't. And this part overnight finally kind of coiled up a little bit. When I first twisted it, it just stayed like that. So this just part right here still wants to act like it thinks it has perm in it and I don't understand why so it's kind of frustrating and this part is shorter than the rest of my hair because I kept cutting it when I first cut my did my big chop because I thought it was still permed on it permed on in but I figured it out too late so anyway I'm gonna speed this part up and then we'll see the results hopefully this twist out will come out good
Okay, so I have them untwisted. Some of them I kind of like separated each section. And I think I'm probably going to do that with a lot of them. So you can't see the parts. I can't wait till my hair grows out more so I can really get a good twist out. Because I always end up having to put a headband on. And then by me not making these parts like uniform and then you know some bigger than the other so then I have to separate some and not the other it ended up being like half curl half fro and that's never the look that I'm going for never looking for half curl half fro but that's what I have to deal with me. My hair feels so soft. So trusted uh, headband I'm going to put on. This little curly cue. <laughs> Can you see it? My hand doesn't want to move right in the camera. I think you can see it. <laughs> that looks cute to me. It's always crazy still finding a twist in your hair like after you just took all that time taking them out. Okay, so this, um, that's too far back, but this twist out didn't really come out how I exactly wanted it, especially this front part, this part never does what I want, you see how it's like, like wavy and sort of curly, and that's another reason I ended up having to put this on, because this front part isn't that correct. Okay, so So that's the style. It doesn't really not showing up real good on this camera, but um, and this part always just does whatever it wants to do. But I'm probably gonna have to fix this a little bit more. There's the back. Okay, guys, so let me know what you think about this. Um, and that, like I said, this part always does what it wants. It pisses me off. I wish that all would look like that little curly cute thing right there. But I really have to just stop being lazy and just braid them or twist them all the same 
Like if I do them all skinny, but it was like one o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I don't have time for that. So look like I did. This part right here makes to me looks like I did a roller set or something. But I just have to I come to the realization my hair is gonna be half curly, half frilly. And I guess until I get some more length, but so there's that. And the products that first I'm gonna show you the product that I hated. And I've only used this once, but I'm, I don't ever want to put this back in my hair again. The Urban Therapy Twisted Sister Curl Activator, which I bought from Walgreens. They had a sale on this too for uh, 8 so this was $4. And I'm like, well, let me give it a try because I've been looking at it. But I kind of figured this was not going to be for my hair type. But I'm like, well, let me try because it says suitable for all curly hair types. Naturally curly afro, which is what I have, or permed hair. Because I'm like, my hair is not curly like this little picture they got on here. But since it said afro, I'm like, well, let me try. So this stuff, I hate this stuff for real. This stuff, it did bring out my curl pattern. But once my hair dried, it was shrunk up and very hard and not all the way crunchy, but just... I did not like it at all. And so I don't know if I had too much water in my hair when I put this on. Because it says through damp or dry hair. I had rinsed my hair before I put this on there. But I don't even want to try to just have it on damp hair because it was the worst feeling in the world. So I probably won't ever try this again unless I just, you know, feel like giving it another chance. But the products that um and that was my I only use that once so this one I know I said first impressions I've used this twice but this is what I used on my hair for this twist out and I love this stuff the smell of this stuff is just so wonderful and my hair smelled so good last night when I was going to sleep I just wanted to eat my hair like smelling it through the um the bonnets this and on top of the pro other products I'm about to show you my I was just like in scent heaven this, this smells, smells good. But it's the Elasta QP Olive Oil and Mango Butter Moisturizer. And so, the first time I used this, I used it on dry hair. After I had taken out some braids that I had put in to wear under a wig. And so, I liked the way it looked. But it was, you know, it needed, it was just dry. So, I put that in. And I really liked the way it uh, worked. So, I'm like, well, I washed my hair yesterday. And after I washed it, I knew I was going to do the twist out. And I normally use the beautiful textures, but I didn't feel like putting that in there. And so I tried, I put this on when my hair was wet. And I like it, like the shine and moisture, it, my hair feels soft and everything. And so this is supposed to, it says, produce this intensely. Moisturizing butters of olive oil and mango produce this intensely rich thermal protecting treatment. Use uh this daily for a softer fuller looking hair and my hair does feel softer and then it says apply daily to target dry ends that help prevent breakage so this is this is not necessarily for um natural hair but uh, you know a lot of natural people use that so i wish i would use that the first time i went natural that i love that stuff i'm always gonna use that well until i run out of that stuff this is probably the only thing i'm gonna use for now anyway for my twist and so I bought this, I showed y'all this in another video when Walgreens had this for two uh for three ninety nine. I'm gonna go back and get some more. This I, this is my first time using it yesterday. And this is the uh argan the cream of nature with argan oil, uh moisture and shine shampoo. It says hydrates and detangles. They didn't lie. This stuff, uh first of all, it gives like my hair felt so like when I washed it off it still you could feel like the slip on it or whatever and that it detangled because normally I had to use the comb to detangle like when I wash it I was able to just run my fingers and I felt like my curl pattern this is some good stuff because I've been using the as I am co-wash but I don't want my hair to get accustomed to just one product so that's why I've been trying to get some different products and I don't have that many over there because um I did that video, like, throwing away all that stuff I had from the last time. And I'm like, I'm not going to be a product junkie. 
but I'm not gonna go by like anymore until I use this stuff and you know kind of see if I really do like it. I do want to try the Shea Moisture, but I'm gonna hold off on that until I really need it. So um, this stuff is good, and this the smell of this is I kind of like the smell of this. It's okay. It wasn't like mm, I'm like okay, but let me tell you about this. The cream of nature with argan oil intensive conditioning treatment this stuff smells like candy like sweet tarts or smarties or something oh my god and so i was in the shower like ooh, like what i couldn't figure out the smell see the sweet tarts or smarties or uh, mixed together it's like a, a really nice sweet scent it's not well it's not overpowering for me but yeah, I like this stuff. So, after I use this, one thing I will say, my hair didn't feel is like when I put that on, it kind of felt like oily, but not like a you know a bad oily. Like it can, it felt um good. So this kind of kind of it felt like it stripped a little bit of what I felt from that, unless I just hadn't rinsed all the shampoo out and it wasn't supposed to feel like that. But it didn't feel horrible so i don't want you all to think that but this is supposed to strengthen impart moisture and prevent hair breakage and ju i'm sorry just i don't know if i told y'all this is sulfate free so um this has some chemicals in it that i haven't researched but at least it doesn't have like the sodium lauryl sulfates and all that in it this uh has water well of course it has water but the second ingredient is glycerin then it has some good Oh my god, this has mineral oil in it, which I really just don't like using mineral oil, but it has some good oils. This also has linalin oil. <laughs> Another thing I don't like using, but um, this video is getting kind of long there, but um, this was good. Other than, you know, I took you kind of... It moved, it removed just, it didn't feel as good as the shampoo, but it, it didn't feel horrible. You know, it wasn't like my hair felt dry or something. And then you top it off with, with this. Sorry. There's another product in this line, uh, this Argan line, Argan oil line. I think just one more. I didn't get it and I can't remember why I didn't get it. But this is the Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. It says dual action for strength and shine. So either this added the shine. Oh, that stuff added the shine in my hair. But when I woke up today and looked at my hair, like cool beans, because I didn't have to put any oil in it. Of course, this has oil in it, but I didn't have to put any more oil. So that was cool. But this is, um, you have to shake it, you know, shake it to activate it. Just spray it on your hair. And I like this stuff. And when I sprayed this, let me tell you, when I got out the shower, normally when I get out the shower, you know, it's detangled in the shower and I detangle it. But once I get out and come to sit right here to actually do my hair, it's, it's not as detangled as it was in the shower. After using that shampoo and conditioner, before I even sprayed that in, it, I was able to, because I used this brush, I was able to, the Denman, or the words that came off, the yeah, Denman, use this to detangle my hair. It Normally, when I use this, it gets through, but not as easily as it did yesterday. And then spraying this stuff on it, it helped even more. And I don't even think this is supposed to be a detangler. But yeah, this it says it has a strengthening protein uh, complex. Y'all should try this stuff. It's like get the whole, least whole little three, three things. I'm going to go look at the other one and see if it's something I want. But I would try this. I have very thick kind of coarse hair. I would say I'm like 4B, 4C. And it worked good for me, so it might work good for you all. Of course, everything doesn't work for everyone, but my first impression of this stuff is good. Like, when I was doing my hair, I'm like, I can't wait to tell them about this. I don't even want to wait a couple, you know, just to for real. So I'm going to give it some more time to give y'all a review and let a for real review. But my first impression is, let me go out and get some more of it. It's still on sale for right now, three ninety nine. Otherwise, I'm just going to wait till I run out. But um, So, yeah, that's a good product. And I think that was it. Yeah, so thanks guys for watching. I hope you all are having a lovely Sunday. And um, see you guys in the next video. Bye.